laying in my bed, eyes bawling. Extra, extra small. I'm starving. Okay, I'm like low key a little scared, not gonna lie. Pasta! If I'm crazy. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> oh. I hope everyone is having a beautiful damn day because you deserve it. So I just got back from Mitch's and I really need to organize everything that I just brought in. I stopped in at the grocery store and just grabbed a thing of milk and some chocolate chips because I really want to make muffins or cookies or something like that today because honestly, my period is coming and the chocolate cravings, the sweet cravings are they're hitting hard. Let's just say that they're hitting hard. <laughs> but I think first things first is we are going to make some freaking breakfast because I am starving and I really want to get a workout in because I haven't done workout since last Thursday and it's now Monday. So I didn't work out Friday, Saturday or Sunday. Yesterday was the best day ever though. I gotta say it was the best day ever. And you know what I did? I laid in bed and watched movies and ate yummy food and just relaxed like truly relaxed had my hair up in a bun all day was wearing a big old t-shirt on saturday night i saw some of my old high school friends for a halloween party it was like a week after halloween obviously but we stayed up way too late <laughs> and then me and mitch had to get up early and head home the next day on sunday so when we got home all we wanted to do was just relax and watch movies and nap and to eat food today after that rejuvenating day yesterday i am just feeling so good and so motivated and so alive and ready to go and i got a little bit of a busy day not a crazy busy day but i gotta do some running around and all the things however let's stop chatting and make some freaking breakfast <laughs> so after i finished up breakfast i just wanted to get my apartment all cleaned up and organized but i am running short on time because i have an appointment in a little bit and i have to drive to another city which is like a half an hour drive and i'm also getting my tires changed over as well and the mechanic is like right beside my doctor's office basically it's like a few blocks away so i need to drop off my car talk to them walk to my doctor's office it's like a whole thing so i'm running a little bit short on time here i'm getting a pap test done so i don't know how i'm gonna feel after it because i've heard from multiple women that they just feel crampy and like crap afterwards so i don't want to risk another day of like not getting any movement in so i'm trying to get a workout in right now but i basically have to work out shower get ready really quickly and leave so I was in a rush the other day and I threw all my workout clothes in the dryer because I was too impatient to just hang them up to let them dry. Now this bra is just so tight and it makes me sad because I really like it and I think it's really cute with like this. I'll wear it a couple more times. If it doesn't stretch back out, then, then it's into the bin and it's going to the thrift store. Let's get freaking moving. Can I 
just want to remind you guys that if you don't work out for a few days or a week or a couple weeks or whatever the case may be and you finally get back at it and that workout is like hard and challenging and you are just like puffing and puffing the whole time it doesn't mean you've lost everything it doesn't mean you've started at square one again it just means you gotta give your body a second to readjust after its rest period. So I'm all ready to go and I thought I'd show you the little fit for the day. I got these pants, these boyfriend pants, just a couple days ago at the thrift store and I freaking love the wash of them. I got these Converse also at the freaking thrift store for $7.99. If you've watched my Insta stories, you already know. Follow me here on Instagram. Anyways, I got this black tee as well. And I've just like folded up the sleeve. <laughs> Jesus. And I have this uh, green jacket that honestly I don't love very much. I got it at H&M and it's supposed to be super baggy. Like this is an extra, extra small, but I just like tie it in the back a little bit. So it looks a little more slim fitted from the front because when I let it go, it literally just looks like a square. Here's a tip to make sure your scarf doesn't like fly off one shoulder and stuff. If you have little stringies, all you gotta do is just tie a couple of them together and then it becomes like an infinity scarf. Anyways, here's the fit. Looking good, looking cute, let's go. <laughs> okay, it is literally such a freaking beautiful day. What is up with this weather recently? Like I've said before, it scares me to know what the world is gonna look like because it is freaking 19 or 20 degrees and it's October, October, it's November 8th today. Like what the hell is this? I'm also like speed walking right now because my appointment is in like 10 minutes and I need to get there real fast. Look at my little legs moving, just moving. All right, we're going up a hill. We're running, we're running. Yeah, that's correct. And sure, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. We just have some boring questions to ask you before we do it. That's okay. So, your last normal menstrual period, when is it? I am like five days out from my period right now. All right, that's really quick. Okay, I'm like low-key a little scared, not gonna lie. Um, just because I've heard like so many scary stories of like after you just feel like crap, so. Fingers crossed. <laughs> So I went for a little stroll after I finished up at the doctor's office and ended up sitting here because <laughs> it is a freaking beautiful day and I thought I'd just sit outside and hang out while I'm waiting for my car still. And honestly, the pap test was not bad at all. I, it was not uncomfortable whatsoever. Like I barely felt it. Anyways, I thought I'd take this time and tell you guys what's up with my love life, with my dating life. <laughs> In a couple videos ago, I just mentioned that, hey, you may recognize the kitchen that I'm in but I just wasn't ready to talk about it yet. However, I want to update you guys because you guys are such a big part of my life and I want you to know what's up, what's going on with me mentally, physically, all the things. So that way you feel less uncomfortable with who you are and how you express yourself because the more people that are just expressing themselves and being who they are and living this normal human experience, you know, the more people can just feel normal with their experience as well. Anyways, me and Mitch are back together and things are going really, really well. We broke up in the first place because we just realized like he wasn't ready for what I was ready for. Like I was ready to kind of take the next step in our relationship and, you know, put the labels on it and all the things, but he just wasn't quite there yet, which really upset me. Then it caused me anxiety every time I was around him because I was just like, you know, nervous. Like, does he really care about me? Like. Does he really want me around? All of these things. And trust me, guys, he is such a wonderful human being and I just appreciate his honesty with it and appreciate how he handled the situation because it was never a big fight with us. We never got mad at each other or yelled at each other or anything. You know, he just expressed that he was scared because of his past experiences and he just needed a little bit more time and space to figure himself out. It had nothing to do with me or nothing to do with our relationship relationship it was just his past experiences that were you know inhibiting him from taking the next step forward in this relationship that we were in so anyways we broke up but 
after we broke up i was just so upset and like so beside myself and everything just didn't feel right like it felt so wrong that we had ended things and i honestly like for weeks after was still crying like full-blown like laying in my bed eyes bawling because i was just still so in love with this person that i couldn't be with but luckily he took some time and reflected in himself people but yeah we took some time apart we both figured out how we felt about each other truly and we just realized like how good we are together and how happy we were together and how happy the relationship made both of us and how honestly it just didn't feel right for either of us to be apart from each other. Like at the end of the day, he was experiencing anxiety because he wasn't listening to how he felt about me because of just the past experience that he had went through. So he, you know, was reflecting that trauma onto this relationship and he just needed some time to kind of navigate that and realize, you know, he cares about me and he loves me and doesn't want to give up on our relationship. And neither did I. <laughs> so I really appreciate him, I appreciate this relationship, and I appreciate all of you and the safe space that I hold with all of you guys to share this information with you. But yeah, I am very happy and so excited for our new adventure together and so just grateful as well that we took some time apart to really really navigate how we feel and how important that this relationship is to the both of us. And sometimes you need that little bit of space and time to really soak in those feelings and realize how important somebody is to you. But honestly, it was just so funny because every single person that I talked to about it and you know, told them that we weren't seeing each other anymore, just kind of looked at me and they're like, really? But like, does that mean this is the end of it? And like, they just doubted that it was the end of it. And at that time I was just like, well, yeah, because you know, this and this and this. And I was just trying to be kind of harsh towards it and harsh towards the situation because of the feelings that I was feeling and I just wanted to not feel those things anymore I just wanted to get over it and move on and just you know leave it in the past anyways guys um I think I'm just rambling at this point and going on and on and on because I'm just like talking to all my BFFs and updating you guys on all the stories but I could literally talk about this for like an hour and uh, nobody wants to watch a video about me just rambling about a relationship that is now happy and healthy and back together and still so many more experiences to be had with each other. And I am super happy that you guys are tuning in to join me on this journey, on my life's journey. <laughs> and uh, I hope you got to see, I hope you get to see many cute moments with me and Mitch as well. So um, I'm gonna go see if my car is ready because I'm currently sitting in grass that I kind of think is wet and I kind of think my butt is now wet. So that's a thing. So let's go for a little walk and hopefully your butt dries off. <laughs> So it honestly took so much freaking longer than was expected because he also changed over my oil So I had to wait until all of that was done. So it's basically almost dinner time I have not had lunch yet. I've snacked on a freaking apple. I'm starving So let's head home and make lunch slash dinner slash just food. I just need I need My brain shutting down. I need food <laughs> I seriously picked the wrong fruit to eat because I brought an apple and an orange with me to snack on. I ate the apple, but now I'm sitting in traffic wishing I could eat something right now, but I can't peel an orange while I'm driving stop and go traffic. Like I'm going 15 kilometers an hour right now. So I'm just about to run into the grocery store because after I finished my budget eats video, I didn't actually do a full grocery haul yet afterwards. So I have like nothing in the house and I need something to make dinner with, right? So let's do that. Gotta say, I love a 50% off deal. I am immediately opening this dark chocolate and having a couple. Your girl needs it. <laughs> I'm sick of daydreaming. I just want the feeling of you in my bed. I'm down at this waistline, right below your waistline. Want you by my head. I'm doing all this face up, need some low time, baby. You're always running in my mind. 
I'm sick of daydreaming. I just want the feeling of you in my bed. Can't spend time alone. Give you my hoodie just so you can smell my cologne. So we got our beautiful pasta meal over here. I feel like every single what I eat in a day video, I'm like pasta with like lemon and greens. <laughs> but honestly, it's such a go-to simple meal for me and has so much flavor. I love it. And to add some extra protein in it, you can just crumble in some tofu, which I often like to do. I honestly was going to, I opened my tofu and then I just completely forgot about it. And then I just gave up on the idea, to be honest. I've really just dedicated myself to a life in the kitchen ever since I got home, eh? Freaking making my pasta, made my loaf, which is in the oven, and I got like less than 15 minutes left to go on it, so so excited to eat that, not gonna lie. <laughs> However, I'm gonna fry up that tofu that's been sitting and marinating for like 20 minutes or so, and then also fry up some onion and some mushrooms, and then just have like kind of steak and fried onion salad. Weird, but I think it's gonna be delicious, not gonna lie. So let's get on that journey. Let me spin my game. You know that this room got me moving this way. So I've like low-key never made a meal like this before. I've never like put barbecue style tofu on top of greens with sauteed onions and mushrooms. I think it's a, this is a new thing with me and I'm very excited to give it a little try. I'm just throwing on the marinade from the tofu as well, just to add some extra flavor, add some extra saltiness. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of barbecue sauce on top with some lemon juice, see how it tastes, and uh, decide whether or not if I'm, if I'm crazy. I just wanna say a little bit, probably am, yeah. Before I even do this, I, I definitely have a little bit of craziness in, in me. A little bit of lamb on. Trick for lemon, if you don't want to dirty your lemon squeezer, all you gotta do is put your hand underneath of it and your hands act as a strainer to catch the seeds. I'm also gonna throw some pickled red onions on top of here to add some extra color. Maybe. Ugh. Yeah. This is a very onion heavy meal. If anyone hates onions, I'm not even sorry. I love onions. <laughs> okay, I don't know about anybody else, but when I'm cutting something with a knife, I have to hold, I'm a righty by the way, I, I have to hold my fork with my left hand and cut with my right, and then to eat it, I have to switch back and eat with my right. I I know it's a waste of time, but it the other way just doesn't feel right with me. Like, I, can, I can get behind this. This is not a bad, this is not a bad, this is not a bad meal. I'm not mad about it. I'm not mad about that. Mm. I've honestly had the best day ever, ever since I got home. Well, I mean, today has been pretty damn good, not gonna lie, all of it. But ever since I got home, I've just been cooking away in the kitchen and mm, my heart just gets so full when I'm in the kitchen for a long time. It just makes me so damn happy that I get to do this for a living. Like you have no freaking idea. Like I am absolutely, absolutely living my damn dream right now. <laughs> 
and sometimes I just sit and think about it and the reality of it hits me and just this wave of love and gratefulness and happiness just flows over me and like surrounds me and I just feel my whole energy is just wrapping around the entire world and something that I absolutely love to do is that was aggressive, <laughs> is go on long ass walks and just put in nice and calming music. Look at the leaves, look at the trees and just soak up nature. And as I'm doing that, I feel so connected to it. And I just say, thank you. Like I'm literally just there in that moment. And I'm just like, thank you. Sometimes the simplest things that you can do for yourself is just looking at your life and just sitting there taking a deep breath and just being like, thank you for everything that I've been through. Thank you for all the time that I get to spend doing something that I love. Thank you for giving me the energy and the ability to walk down this path or be in this moment or cook or eat or <laughs> anything of that because honestly life is way too short to want to wish it away anyways big old long rant from me i just want to remind you to take some time for yourself and do something that rejuvenates your energy and lights up your heart say thank you for being in this moment that you are in say thank you to yourself so i'm just so grateful for every single one of you i'm going to end the video right here because i'm just gonna wash up lay down in bed and relax i think i'm probably gonna do a little stretching i feel like i probably need it after today's workout and not working out for a few days in a row so I'm gonna just relax for the rest of my night. I'm sending everyone so much love and hope you have a beautiful rest of your day because you deserve it. I will see you again soon for lots more videos coming your way. I'm so, so, I'm so happy right now. Like I am overwhelmingly happy right now. Oh, I'm sending you all so much freaking love. Hey guys, sorry, I lied to you. It's not time to go yet. Put on a face mask. Wow, I really look like an alien right now. But we're gonna cut into this. <laughs> but like, honestly, look how beautiful that looks. And plus, is there a better way? A face mask and some chocolate banana date loaf? Is there a better evening? I don't know. <gasps> oh my God, look how good that looks. <gasps> my face is getting kind of stiff, so this might be hard to eat. It's still warm. Mm. Oh, what? All right. Good night. I love you. Mwah. <laughs>